Enter his gates with thanksgiving in your heart. Enter his courts with praise. Enter his gates with thanksgiving in your hearts, for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. Jesus has made me glad. Enter his courts with thanksgiving in your hearts, for he has made me glad. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. The Lord has given us on another day to thank Him, to praise Him, and to worship Him. As we are in the presence of the Lord, let us bring before Him all our prayers and petitions, asking the Lord to bless each of us. And feeling His presence amidst us, let us begin the Eucharist of love and thanksgiving. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We are in the presence of the Lord, and as we come together to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us recall to our minds our shortcomings and failures, the times when we are failed to love our brothers and sisters, asking the Lord to pardon us, to forgive us. Let us humbly acknowledge our sins and say, I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, earth peace, peace to people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we, we glorify you, we give, you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God heavenly, heavenly King, O God, God Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Begotten, Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, God Son of the Father, you, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
are reading from the book of Sirach. Anchor and wrath, these also are abominations, and the sinful man will hold them fast. The one who seeks vengeance will be paid vengeance from the Lord, and he who keeps a record will have his own sins recorded. Forgive your neighbor the wrong he has done, and then your sins will be pardoned when you pray. Does one person harbor anger against another and yet seek for healing from the Lord? Does he have no mercy towards someone like himself and yet pray concerning his own sins? If he himself, being flush, maintains wrath, who will make atonement for his sins? Remember the end of your life and cease from enmity. Remember destruction and death and be true to the commandments. Remember the commandments and do not be angry with your neighbor. Remember the covenant of the Most High and overlook error. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and rich in mercy. The Lord, the Lord is, is compassionate, compassionate and gracious, slow to, to anger and, and rich in, in mercy. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all within me his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and never forget all his benefits. The Lord, the Lord is, is compassionate, compassionate and, and gracious, gracious, slow to anger and, and rich, rich in mercy. mercy. It is the Lord who forgives all your sins, who heals every one of your ills, who redeems your life from the grave, who crowns you with mercy and compassion. The Lord, the Lord is compassionate, compassionate and gracious, gracious Slow, slow to anger, anger and, and rich, rich in mercy. mercy. He will not always find fault, nor persist in his anger forever. He does not treat us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our faults. The, the Lord, Lord is compassionate, compassionate and gracious, gracious slow, slow to anger and rich in mercy. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so strong his mercy for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far from us does he remove our transgressions. The, the Lord, Lord is compassionate, compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and rich in, in mercy. mercy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, none of us lives to himself, and none of us dies to himself. For if we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ died and lived again, that he might be Lord both of the dead and of the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. A new commandment I give to you, says the Lord, that you love one another just as I have loved you. Alleluia.
the Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. At the time, Peter came up and said to Jesus, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy times seven. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants. When he began to settle, one was brought to him who owed him ten thousand talents, and since he could not pay, his master ordered him to be sold with his wife and children and all that he had and payment to be made. So the servant fell on his knees, imploring him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the master of that servant released him and forgave him the debt. But when that same servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii, and seizing him, he began to choke him, saying, Pay what you owe. So his fellow servant fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you. He refused and went and put him in prison until he should pay the debt. When his fellow servants so what had taken place, they were greatly distressed, and they went and reported to their master all that had taken place. Then his master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you all that did because you pleaded with me. And should not you have had mercy on your fellow servant as I had mercy on you. And in anger, his master delivered him to the jailers until he should pay all his debt. So also, my heavenly father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Today, we have an interesting question for our reflection. Can we forgive others as God forgives? This question requires us to take stock of our life as human beings as well as the followers of Christ. Obviously, it is not easy to forgive because it goes beyond our human nature. All the three readings of today speaks very firmly and strongly on one topic, that is forgiveness. As Christians, Forgiveness is an important aspect of our faith and we are called to forgive others generously and let go of the anger and hatred from our hearts and minds. And we have a role model, a God himself, who is rich in mercy and compassion. No doubt, our life here on earth is a huge challenge because we are called to love one another even when we ourselves have not been loved by others. We are called to forgive those who have hurt us and have made our life difficult. Ego and pride are the greatest obstacles on the path to sincere forgiveness. 
True forgiveness is not possible unless we remove these obstacles from our minds and hearts. Like, remember, God Himself has forgiven us so generously. In spite of our own weaknesses, our own shortcomings, our own failures, in spite of our own repeated rejections and betrayals. And so, can we forgive others as God forgives us? In order to understand or in order to learn the true spirit of forgiveness, the quality of our forgiveness, we need to keep in mind three points. First, that we are dust and unto dust we shall return. No one can predetermine the exact time and our hour, the day of our death. We need to be ever ready to encounter the Lord when He comes calling us on His own time. All that has the beginning will have an end as well. Why should we have a tragic end by not forgiving others? Let us forgive and journey to our heavenly home with happiness and peace. Secondly, let us learn and live the Ten Commandments of the Lord. It is interesting to note that we do not find the word forgiveness in the Ten Commandments. But at the same time, when we observe them, there is no question of vengeance in our mind and hearts. Thirdly, remember the covenant of the Lord. God said, You shall be my people and I will be your God. We can experience the presence of God in our life when we are able to in communion with our community members. When you are able to live in communion with our family members. When you are able to live in communion with our society. And so the Lord is inviting each one of us today to make a difference in our life. We are called to make a difference through our way of life. Let us be an inspiration and example for others, to love others, to forgive others. St. Paul puts it plainly, none of us lives to himself and none of us dies to himself. For if we live, we live to the Lord and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. All that we have and all that we are, the blessings of the Lord. We can experience the blessings of the Lord in our life and we can share the same blessings to our brothers and sisters if only we are able to love and forgive them. Can we forgive others as God forgives us? Let us profess our faith in the Lord. I believe in God. The Father Almighty, Almighty Creator of heaven and earth, earth and, and in Jesus Christ, Christ His only Son, our Lord, Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. In the silence of our hearts,
Let us bring to the Lord our prayers and petitions, asking the Lord to be merciful to us. We pray for all the church leaders and all the political leaders that they may imbibe the spirit of love, forgiveness in their lives. We also pray for our own family members, our own dear and near ones, whom we are not able to love and forgive them. The Lord is inviting us today to forgive them from our hearts. Let's forget about the past. From today, let us make a resolution to God that we are going to love and forgive others. Let us also pray for all those who are sick and suffering in our families, in our communities. May they experience the healing presence of the Lord in their lives. And we especially pray for all those who are affected by this COVID-19 pandemic, physically, financially and mentally. May the good Lord be their strength and support in these times of difficulties and struggles. Let's also pray for all those who are enjoying the eternal life with the Lord. If they are in need of God's mercy and forgiveness, may Jesus, our Divine Master, forgive all their sins and accept them into His company. Let's also pray for all those who asked our prayers, all those who need of our prayers, to all whom we have promised our prayers. Let us submit all these prayers and petitions into the hands of our Blessed Mother, that she may intercede for us, saying, Hail Mary, Full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your Jesus. Holy, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have this wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become for us a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of His name, 
for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, which on the altar of the cross cancel the offerings of the whole world, cleanse us, we pray, of all our sins, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deeds by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thorns and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sender, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis Sapo, also the Archbishop and all the clergy, religious and your faithful people. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Paul, Blessed James, Salberione, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be coerced in a life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, 
O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Holy one reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. How precious is your mercy, O God! The children of all seek shelter in the shadow of your wings. Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies, so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's go and love and forgive others. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who died for me, Son of God, who rose in glory, you're my way, 
my truth, my life. You're my way, my truth, my life. Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ, who died for me. Son of God, who rose in glory. You're my way, my truth, my life. You're my way. My truth, my life It's you, Lord, my rock It's you, Lord, my master It's you, Lord, my joy and my only hope It's you, Lord, my peace It's you, Lord, my shepherd It's you, Lord, my light and my everything Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who died for me Son of God, who rose in glory You're my way, my truth, my life You're my way, my truth, my life It's you, Lord, that heals It's you, Lord, that comforts It's you, Lord, that kills me from all my ills In you, Lord, I trust In you, Lord, I gladden In you, Lord, I live no, but I in you Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who died for me Son of God, who rose in glory You're my way, my truth, my life You're my way, my truth, my life Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, Lord and Savior. Jesus, Christ, Jesus Christ, who died for me, died for me. Son, of God, Son of God, who rose in glory, rose in glory. You're, my way, You're my way, my truth, my life, my truth, my life. You're, my way, You're my way, my truth, my life